diversity is something that uh, we must have. You know, uh, as a regional city, there are things we cannot run as well. There are things we must own as a region and as a city. One of them is definitely a public university. We need to have uh, a referral hospital like what we have now. We need to have uh, an airfield, if not an airport. These are all things that actually make up what we need to have a, a, a stadium. They want to the standard that can host and do a lot of things. So uh, it is the time. In fact, time is over. I wouldn't say that is the time, but this by now all these things would have been what in place. By the time we are now moving towards declaring ourselves as a city, all this should have been planned for. However, it's never too late. These are things that we must advocate for and there are things that, that we must have. As we are talking about a regional city like Zimbabwe, we are talking to areas ranging right from Malaysia, Sebei, uh, Bukedi, and all these. These are all areas that actually get services from this city for some time as a, a regional office, because this has been a, more or less a regional uh, offices for this particular area, even before becoming a city. So I think, yes, it is the time that we all must advocate for. The only thing I was uh, sharing with, the, with my friends and uh, colleagues is that um, we need to have some kind of speciality. That if we are having uh, this university that we must have, uh, we cannot uh, seem to duplicate what is there. But we need now to have some areas where, where we must be known for. For example, if we are having a, a university that is a, targeting a lot, of, uh, a lot of engineering or science, like now in the areas where we, uh, attention is moving so much, that is what we need to do. So we don't establish for the sake of it, but uh, this is what I was sharing with the stakeholders. And I think they will agree that yes, first of all, we must have, but there must be areas where we must be known for. We have uh, our eligible and technical there that produces some engineers at that level. So having this facility can actually be supplied with the students or guys who are going to upgrade from the area, the, the current institutions that we are having. So it is something that is overdue, but I know it's the right time that we must put up our voices together and see how we can have it established. One, actually it's not about filing up issues with the government, it's about helping government realize that there are areas that we must prioritize. If you are having, you cannot have a population that is not literate, that does not have relevant skills, and then you think you can grow. You can only grow with the right population and the right labor force. So this is actually part of the issues that you help the government to, to identify and know that for us to do this, for us to grow, for, for the country to, to move and grow. There are specific skills that we must have, and those skills are not going anywhere. We cannot all go and congest. You know that the population is rapidly growing, and when you visit most of our institutions, even currently, you will notice that um, the demand is still there. As we talk about, of course, here we are talking about um, the referral we are talking about. It still requires personnel that who are graduate from those same facilities. We are talking about uh, the James Wakabula Memorial School that we are going to put up training mainly nurses and midwives. All this we require skills originating from what? So I think it's not filing too much, but we are saying let's prioritize rightly. The things of Helen, these are not issues where you say it is actually filing pressure. It is something that we must forego other things and ensure that what? These are done. Yeah. Like in our department, you know, they are. We have people low, we have people on the floor. We have people lying down on the floor. Therefore, meaning that the demand is so, so much. So it is not something that we say, like exactly, let's focus on other areas. But you focus on other areas when you're having a dead population and a population that is not productive. So the healthy population is the one that will be productive in my own view. So these are not things that we really take as the things of a by the way. But there are things that we must prioritize, and the, if we are taking an initiative as local leaders, and then uh, trying to indicate to government that you know you might have ignored this area, but this is an area of priority. 
It's not about uh, filing, but it's just uh, helping to point out what we think possibly could be an oversight. May about the bugs are the structure that we thought is going to ease, and you know it is going to accommodate some of the specialty wards like ICU and others, have for for some time now stalled. And uh, the last time I checked there, my interaction indicated that we are going to have another team coming to take it up from there. It is my appeal and my humble appeal that as a matter of urgency, we need to move and ensure this structure is completed. Its completion is going to ease some of the pressures we are having on the available health facilities, but also the cases that are being referred. Because it does not make sense for a case to be referred, for example, from Soroti and then it reaches Mbale and also making the same referral to Kampala because of the congestion and then the population being so big. So I think I would want to appeal to, to the center to consider this as a matter of urgency and priority. It is something that we shared with other leaders. In fact, as I talked, we had agreed that um, with other teams we will take a, a special inspection to, in the facility the coming two weeks after this holiday and then possibly interact with the concerned personalities, just get to understand why these are stalled and show them the agents. Because when you go there currently, you are also a demonstration that requires a lot of space for people to be accommodated that we don't have currently. So it is something that I think we must prioritize. I remember the last time we had the minister here, we shared with her, she visited, she saw the pressure there, and therefore, when we talk about completing this structure, we thought that is going to be one way of easing the current challenges that we are facing in terms of uh, uh, space. So I really want to appeal to the center that uh, let's prioritize this facility and let's make it really a real referral hospital in all that it We are appreciated that at least we've gotten something that is going to solve the problem because you know this has gets referrals from all the districts within this part of the country.